Welcome back. Now we're going to be covering Luke 21:25. In Luke 21:25, the Lord warned us to watch for the roaring in the uh, of the seas and the waves. Now, obviously, the roaring of the seas and the waves shows us that there's going to be some pretty big storms that would be pushing the waves. Uh, also, in Luke 21:25, uh, B. Uh, this, the other part of that same verse, we are told this, and I quote, On earth nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring of the seas and the tossing of the waves. So we know in the last days there's going to be some pretty massive uh, flooding, storms, pushing of the uh, waves and the seas. It's going to cause major problems for many nations around the world and they're going to increase during the tribulation period now I'm going to what I have done after you watch the video scroll down and I've given you a website where you can watch videos two videos actually uh, one will be from a link that you can go to to a report and you'll click that link and you'll see the video and the other one is from a YouTube video on the flooding in Australia that is just phenomenal and I'm going to hook up with YouTube and uh, play just a little bit of one of the uh, articles because I want you to, to understand and to see how bad this situation is right now. So please listen. Some predict this disaster has already cost three billion pounds. But as State Premier Anna Bly admits, with around 350,000 square miles underwater, no one can really be sure. This disaster is unlike any other that we've had to rebuild from, and our normal disaster rela relief arrangements may not be enough. No. Okay, so the first complex problem is they've never seen anything like this before. This isn't a normal disaster that, that they've had. Let me continue. None of us know what the price tag is. We, we know it's a large one. And it's far from over. 350 miles away from Rockhampton, the town of St. George is preparing for flood levels reaching 14 metres. That's 46 feet. It's easy to see why this disaster has been described as a flood of biblical proportions. So, there you go. I mean, they're even relating what's happening in Australia to biblical proportions. Could you imagine flood waters 47 feet high? And as you read the article and as you watch the videos you'll see that they have other issues with snakes poisonous snakes and alligators who have gone in uh, into uh, residential areas because of the flood waters carrying these animals and snakes into that area so there's definitely complex problems and these are the problems uh, that the Lord talked about the roaring of the seas and the waves, they're here, and you're going to hear a lot more about these problems as uh, we get into the latter part of uh, 2011.